Excuse me, Mr. DJ. Can you please play my daddy's record? You don't want me to be miserable, so let me go Or detain me, entertain me, talk to me frankly This is how you thank me, I'm one of the good guys thankfully Good equals evil, how can it be? How can it be? See, I am exactly the way I was made Even when I change, lyrical content still bangs Can't wait to hear what you spit over this The beat flatline, I rhyme Jedi mind tricks Many pads, hand of fist, philanthropist Pass the cannabis for the assist I hold my breath, then I burn the shit down From the ground to the roof All ground troops against one cannabis new. Next time you regroup, bring a chemical suit Cause I don't wanna get vegetable soup Puke on my boots The way that interpermeates time or flatline Radio we will be inside that line Jedi mind, third eye, where I identify the force The bonds, force of the rhymes, eternal solar signs Sunspots, spitting sunshine Wow, like bust the rhymes Give me the track, if I touch it, it's mine So I'll tape you to the table Hook you up to the jumper cables Remember what I told you about Azazel Worlds to conquer, resources to ponder I am what you made me, a motherfucking monster Check this out it ain't never right just to lie on your brother, man. That's what you are. And that's what you'll always be. You know what I'm saying? Tell the truth. Kill me. Kill if it got something to do with me and you, come on. You gonna add out the name. the world. Tell the truth, man. I came up to the studio to discuss the track and how we was gonna do it. You told me you was getting 80 G's in track from Christina Aguilera. You did seven tracks. You was hyped. You was all cheesing and smiling. You was happy about it. You charged me 40 G's for the track we was gonna do. Eloise cut you the check, sent you your first half, scheduled studio time. I came up to DD, dirty ass DD. First day, you was an hour late. Second day, you was two hours late. Third day, you was three hours late. The fourth day, you was four hours late. Come on, man, tell the truth. When I stepped to you and asked you, yo, tomorrow you gonna be, you gonna be five hours late tomorrow? You say, yo, my bad, bitch. I had to move my mother out, out of the house. So I said, all right, just call, man. Just call, let me know that you're doing something, you're busy, so I don't have to wait for you, you know? So I ain't gotta wait in the studio, I had shit to do. Everybody got shit to do around five o'clock in the evening. So come on now, I don't know what it is, man. Niggas, niggas bringing up some shit 14 years ago, like that shit is current news, like it's important now. What's important now? How is that important? Look how many times we worked together since then. Or how many times I've seen you since then. And then everybody want to know what's wrong with the culture. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. It's not a good look. How does that help anybody in the situation except you? How does it help me for you to be out there saying that I'm difficult to work with? How does that help me? How does it help you? You kick dirt on me, that helps you though, right? Make you feel better, right? Come on now, tell the truth. You was late to the studio like you didn't take it serious, like it wasn't important to you. You shovel shit on me like I wasn't 100% professional and working with you. Like I didn't come through to the sessions and wait for 10 hours. I work with DR period on salute. Everything was dope. Ask DR period how how our studio session was and how I was professional. Ask Fry Top how I was professional. I had to go to Rakim's crib five times before he did the record, but he did it. And the days before the day that he vocal, we was just building, and I enjoyed it. Why you don't speak on that? Speak on the shit that's good for hip hop. 
good for you and good for me Why shovel shit on me? For no reason Who you working for? What agenda do you have? How are you helping hip hop by doing that? I do my best on every track I go hard on every record But you wanna go on TV and radio and what have you and say yeah Cannabis was this and cannabis was that For no reason 14 years ago Why you don't talk about what we did on Sea of Tranquility? Come on now, tell the truth Every album, I do the best that I can do The best that circumstances will admit me at that time Nobody's perfect But God damn it if I don't give it everything though 100 At all times And it's as if there's some sort of a movement or some sort of deliberate attempt to always, when it comes to cannabis, it's always bringing up old shit, something from 14, 15 years ago. Always old shit. Never, never what's currently coming out of cannabis' catalog, what, what he's doing currently. And it's like a deliberate attempt by the media and everybody who got a motherfucking microphone in their hand in five minutes to do a little video bite To talk about old shit When my name come up Cause it's always coming up somewhere It's always coming up And to combat that pressure Niggas is talking about old shit Instead of talking about What, what most recently came out Talk about the Magic album And what was being said on that album Talk about Sea of Tranquility and the topics and subject matter touched on that Talk about something that's relevant to now Don't bring up some old shit that ain't got nothing to do with nothing Come on now, you know what you're doing I ran that baton for so far, man You ain't supposed to never say something foul about your kid, man How does that help you? The irony about it is that you smiling talking about it But it's bad for me, but you smiling though when I get a little bit tight about it and say something about it, everybody look at me like I'm out of pocket and I'm out of bounds. You the one that's smiling, lying. You already knew. And when I say, alright, nah, man, yo, tell the truth. Tell the truth what happened. Tell them niggas, man. You was the one that was late to studio. Every day, you was late. Come on now, tell the motherfucking truth, man. Tell the truth. It's like you didn't want to do the record. Everything about you and your body language is telling me. You didn't want to do the record. 